I get asked the question a lot about when will we see robots take over the world? And you could argue that in some places they already have. I think that they've taken over the world with us as their vector of transmission. Our banking is already done by robots. Our information access is done by robots. In fact, uh, commercial airplanes in bad weather are flown by robots. We don't even realize where robots are in our world. And if all the roboticists in the world were to somehow vanish, uh, we would be in serious trouble. Um, I mean, we're done. I mean, we're done. I mean, everything, we're attached to our phones. Technology's totally taken over. If you have a Gmail account, like, you've already helped the robots take over the world. Like, if you use Priority Inbox, which sorts your email, you have allowed the robots to take over your inbox. So in many parts of life, you're already in the hands of robots, and it's just fine. Any elevator is a robot. Um, that doesn't mean they're taking over the world. So that, that I am still in control, humanity is still in control, and I believe we will remain in control for the indefinite future. People destroy the planet, not your the robots. I guess another way of asking the question is, when will humans and robots become so similar that the distinction becomes unimportant? Robots are becoming more human-like, Humans, if, as we begin to control our own biology, our own DNA, as we begin to implant peripherals inside us, are becoming more designed objects. I think first they're gonna be tools, and if they were ever smart enough that they would be on the same level as us, I feel like we probably would have integrated ourselves with technology at that point. So the line between human and robot probably would have been blurred by then. We will start to augment our biology through different types of nanotechnology and different types of uh, enhancements, uh, things to prolong our life, things to make us uh, fall ill less often, things to make us think faster, things to help us communicate through thought. Uh, so in a sense, we're already becoming cyborgs. There's just a few of us doing it. And I think uh, very soon, many more of us will be making these choices because uh, it will just clearly improve our experience as a human body, at least, if not a human mind. Yeah, so there is, uh, you know, this concept of the singularity, <laughs> you know, the moment where, when, when machines will surpass humans. If robots are able to become more sophisticated, potentially be able to identify a question before I asked it, um, and be able to be more self-directed in their activities, that, that's a total shift kind of in the, the balance of power in many ways uh, between humans and machines. So I think at some point, if you call it the singularity, maybe if you compare what a robot can do and one single person can do, robot in some instance will do better, which is what we want. But collectively, we will always win. I personally do not believe that in my lifetime or anywhere near lifetime that we could see robots gain moral agency or the ability to become self-aware and somehow rise up and take over humanity. I think what we're going to see is a lot more collaboration between robotic and human systems. When will robots take over the world? They already have. And then my face, you, you, can you do that? Can you do that? And then, my, and then there's, a, there's a robot face here. Is it just me talking to the camera or has the tech, have you added the robot face? Otherwise this is gonna look stupid if I'm talking without the robot face. They already have. See?